this question. It's another donut question. And we're asked about the range and the standard deviation. But we're given the data a bit weird. Uh, I believe this would be all the types of donuts at the shop. So this would be a standard deviation of a population, not a sample. But we have one type of donut that has 340 calories. So 340. Six types of donuts that have 570. So what I'm going to do is type out 576 times. Uh, if you're not good at counting, just take your best guess at what six is, highlight them all, and make sure down here it says count of six. So I got six 570s, seven 590s. Here's a quick way to do this. You could copy and paste. You can also highlight two in a row that are the same and drag down. And I should fill it with all the same. And I know that was seven because I had six and one more. Six types of donuts have 470. So type in two of them and then drag this down. And there are six of them using the count. So six 470s and six 410s. I wonder if I just do a 410, just a single one. I'll see what happens when I drag it. So six 410s. Okay. It's all right that there's blanks here. That's okay with our computation. Um, I believe there's a minimum, the smallest number in a set of values. So that's minimum. What in the world just happened? Let me just type the word min, max. I want to range first. All right, minimum equals min parentheses. There we go. Enter, max. These numbers are probably easy enough to just say what the min and max are. I think what I'm doing is uh, not super necessary here. Max minus min. Range 250. All right, standard deviation. STDEV dot. Now, here this is not a sample. It's actually, I believe, all the donuts at the donut shop. So this is the, pop, the entire population. It's not all the donuts in Oregon or all the donuts on planet Earth. It's just all the donuts at this donut shop. Um, and that's set up at the beginning in a neighborhood donut shop. That's that's all we're concerned about right here. We're not thinking about not don't, uh, food that's not donuts. We're not thinking about other donut shops. It's just this donut shop. So this is the entire population here. So stdev dot p for population. And get the whole thing. Enter, there we go, nearest tenth, so that would 97.6, and 250 would be the range. Maybe it would be standard deviation of the Sample. Okay. All right, I will edit the question. So it says a sample from the menu. So the word sample is in here so that you know. Okay, but that is how you calculate this here.